Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be looking at some of the most beautiful throws I've seen in a karate format. So I got this video from Timeless Warriors. I will link it in the description below. So what we will do today is look at these throws from a striking standpoint. Now, when it comes to the format of the competition, I don't know exactly what it is. Is it just Kyokushin or is it something else? So if anyone has more information, karateka perhaps, uh, regarding this type of competition, please let us uh, know down below in the, the comments. I would really appreciate it. So first, we start with the first one. So with a kick, he punches as he sweeps cleanly through both legs. It's very reminiscent of Inoue Kose's double leg sweep. So as he pushes, he sweeps and he lifts up with his hand. So instead of punching, obviously he pushes. So you get that same uh, effect on getting someone to the back. And the other karateka actually uh, lifted his leg to kick. So it was easier to sweep through both legs. Now this one here is a O Uchigari from a leg grab. So as he attempted to kick, he reaps the inner leg. So this is not uncommon, especially in old days of judo. Here you see right versus left. Uh, instead of getting the sleeve, you go for the other leg, you lift it. And as they become on one leg or barely supported on the second leg, you can simply reap it. So let's see it here again. You can either block the other leg or just lift it up, but same concept. Uh, the only difference is it came from a kick. Now this next one here is a brilliant Harai Goshi. This is absolutely insane. So notice the gripping. I'm not sure about the rules, but he has his hand on his head or the back of his neck. So as he lifted his leg up, he turned it into a Harai Goshi grabbing the head. Let's see it one last time. So he kicks, the guy grabs his leg, he turns around and sweeps on the outside of the thigh, lifting on the hips. So this is known as Harai Goshi or sweeping hips. Very common in MMA, very common in a lot of grappling uh, disciplines, but to see it in this format, it was a surprise and the amplitude of the throw is also very good. This is a very impressive compilation. Like I said, it's in the description below. So let's see one last time how he gripped him. I'm pretty sure he got the head rather than the lapel or the collar. Uh, it looks like the back of the collar. Now, before we continue, I'd like to pause and tell you a little bit about Josh Simon. So if you're very interested in reading the history of Jiu Jitsu, especially in Brazil, you can find Josh Simon's articles in the description uh, below. You can contact him through his website, or you can also go to his Instagram history of BJJ. And also if you'd like, you can find very well made t-shirts regarding these historical figures. I own a few and I wear them all the time, specifically when I do athletic activities like going to the gym or go to judo, etc. Uh, again, the link will be in the description. So if you do not want a t-shirt, you can simply just read through the articles. They're very well made and discuss all points of view. Now this one here is absolutely my favorite. So the guy is just absolutely charging at him with strikes and the guy is going to the back. So grips and uses the momentum to throw with a sublime Tomoe Nage. This is again, my favorite in this entire video. So it's very much like Kashiwazaki, almost the way he retreated at an angle. So we all know that Kashiwazaki is one of the best at this technique. So here you see, he actually goes diagonally back. There's multiple videos of him teaching this technique here on YouTube. You can see it. So let's take a look at an old school uh, competition example. Same, you go back diagonally and then 
you pull towards you, you keep the leg bent and then you kind of give it a little kick at the end. You don't stretch it out too quickly because that will block you. You kind of like you're blocking yourself. So Tomoenage is one of the hardest throws to uh, master, especially the side one. So it's a surprise to see it here. Now we go, goes in reaps on the inside and then changes a reap towards the other leg so it's kind of like they already know a lot of judo so again if anyone knows a little bit more about this format let us know again you see ochigari switches to ko uchigari so ko uchigari is a minor inner reap it can be done in many ways you can hook the leg you can simply reap the ankle or or the ball of the foot, sorry, the heel of the foot. And you can time it where they have their leg up. Let's see a competition example similar to what we just saw. So he goes for Ochigari and then switches to Kochigari. So I believe this is a Briggs. And then here hops through the inner reap. This next one, again, beautiful throws you i did not expect to see such throws in a karate competition takes the side step and sweeps controlling with the hand like a steering wheel motion beautiful very similar to you see in judo here take a side step create a reaction and sweep the foot as it is off the ground here is a better example where there is no difference in weight and it comes far smoother here you, you see him again take a side step and then sweeps using the leg the hand to pull away to make it easier now this next one here is a rotating sasai tsurikomi ashi or hiza guruma it's again a staple in judo it's very effective even beginners can get very good at it. It's a great throw and it greatly destabilizes your opponent. So you can use it uh, as your go-to and if it doesn't work, it's gonna leave them in a very vulnerable position. And from there you can initiate another throw. Again, even beginners can be very good at this technique. Now the last one here goes in for a clinch and finishes with a beautiful Ko Sotogake. So as he charges, he clinches and then reaps away with Ko Sotogake. Again, it's a classic, it works every time. You see it in MMA, you see it everywhere. Even beginners can excel at this technique or the intermediate grapplers can excel at this technique. Sasai and Ko Sotogake is your go-to if you have long legs and if you don't know what you wanna do or for the choice of throw, I suggest these two. So if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon and please check out the links in the description below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.